lot of you guys have been asking where I have got all of these things for their enclosure. So I'm going to explain where I got everything, why I chose these certain items for my rabbits. Yeah. Let's go Cookie's the only bunny that lets you pet him when he's like flopped out like this. The basic things that you need for a rabbit enclosure include a litter box for them to go to the bathroom, a hidey house for them to hide in and feel safe, and good flooring so they don't get sore hocks. Again, rabbits don't have that soft padding that other animals have underneath their feet. It's just fur and bone, so they're prone to sore hocks, which is very painful for them whenever they walk on hard surfaces. They need unlimited access to hay and fresh water, and there are several ways to do this. You always have to use a bowl for their water. Rabbits drink a ton of water, probably as much as a small dog. Those little bottles that they usually sell with rabbits may cause dehydration for your rabbit because the water comes out really slowly. Because they need an unlimited source of water, it needs to be very easy for them to access. And the most natural way for them to drink water is out of a bowl. The water dispenser was from a $2 shop. I'll probably link something similar. It's just like a gravity water feeder. These hay racks, everyone keeps asking me about these hay racks. I like them in the way that the rabbits can access the hay from all around. They're quite small, so the rabbits can reach in anyway. Yeah, these are also just from the reject shop. They're just some weird wire shelving that I found. I just zip tied it to that wall of the wire fencing. It's very easy for me to see, even like from across the room, whether it's empty or not, whether they've eaten hay. But yeah, I like to provide hay in multiple areas, so there's some inside there litter boxes, some above their litter boxes, and then they've got some more litter boxes over there in the lounge, which have hay as well. This setup will work for everybody. Obviously, I've already explained this, but I still get a million questions about it. And it's this really super short fence. Honestly, I'm just as surprised as you guys are. Rabbits are very good at jumping and they can 100% jump over this. Ash and Milky, they don't jump over it. And that's the whole purpose of this. I think they just don't like landing on tiles. I've noticed that with my rabbits. They don't tend to jump over fences or anything unless they can see that there's a safe place to land on the other side. As for Cookie, he does not care. He will jump over this like it's hurdles and he just does it for the lulls. He just jumps up to the tiles and he loves running on tiles. I don't understand him. As you can see, the fence is usually left open. My rabbits are usually free roaming the whole time. The only times they are enclosed is when I'm usually away on a trip. And you'll find Ash and Milky just hanging out in the castle. They don't like jumping over this fence, which probably doesn't make sense to anyone, but it works for me. These are just zip tied storage cubes. Uh, everyone kind of used this back when I was just starting out my bunny ownership days. Uh, usually people made bunny condos out of them. And I swear by these because I have changed them into so many different formations that I've lost count at this point. But yes, at the time they weren't selling these in Kmart, but uh, they currently do. So I'll just link that below as well. I tend to go for a zip tie that matches the color of the wire storage cube. I just have some gold clasps in areas where I just want to detach the wire fencing. Sometimes I detach it here and then I just leave it completely open for them. There's also another clasp on that side as like a little door here. But yeah, I just got those at Bunnings. I think they're called like dog clips or something. Like it's usually for like dog collars or whatever. So I just wanted something really easy to unclasp and reattach the wire fencing whenever I wanted. Another question that I keep getting asked is what is this wooden base that I have underneath this jute rug under here? So underneath this rug is some untreated pine planks and some untreated pine plywood underneath. It probably isn't thick enough to serve any purpose besides protecting the floor underneath the carpet. If your rabbit is very prone to peeing or stuff like that, the wood would probably absorb their pee and probably would be very difficult to clean or deodorize. So that's something to be mindful about as well. Um, my rabbits are pretty good with their litter training habits. Yeah, you might want to try something that's not absorbent underneath, probably like plastic, and then put a rug over the top. But yeah, this is untreated pine, so whenever they nibble on it, it's completely safe. Same as their castle, it's made out of untreated pine. 
I'm gonna link the exact measurements and which exact planks and plywood that I've used. It came ready-made like this. I saw it at Bunnings, which is like our Home Depot or something like that. But yeah, it was already pre-cut into this size and they all kind of just fit together and I was like, that's perfect. I just kind of hammered it together. Not well, I might add. It's just holding on together by a thin, thin thread. It, it's, its structure probably isn't very sound. It's just kind of there as like a bottom base to protect the tiles. I would say this size enclosure or playpen is probably sufficient for one or two bunnies. It's probably a bit small for two bunnies. Playpens are the minimum size that you should keep your rabbits enclosed in. Again, whenever possible, just let them free roam and supervise. It's perfectly fine to keep your rabbit in a playpen area, but I would still recommend that you give them plenty of free roam time. Again, I keep saying that they need plenty of free roam time because although this is quite a big space and they can stretch out and lay out, it's still not enough room for them to run around and binky and have their proper exercise. Yeah, I do understand when people try to stack a bunch of areas together to make like a condo because they think it's more area for the rabbits but I do recommend a larger floor area for them to run around in. The next thing I have is just two containers. They're just like some normal storage tubs you can probably find. I don't think I measured it out to fit into the playpen, but it kind of just does. So yeah, I'll link the specific tubs that I bought. They're from the reject shop if you live in Australia. Although bunded bunnies do share their items, uh, it is best to have one for each of them, so I have around like three or four litter boxes for my three rabbits. I have around three bowls of water around the house or two right here. So there's a water dispenser and then another bowl of water right here. And of course their hidey house is this magnificent castle. I've talked all about it in my makeover for them. And the reason why I love this hidey house is because it's got multiple entrances. Again, I explained since I have three rabbits, it's really great because they get very territorial over hidey houses. You'll always find Ash and Milky in this corner. This is their favorite corner of the castle to sleep in. Cookie just sleeps wherever he wants. I remember I was really stressed about flooring for my rabbits. I've gone through like so many different types of flooring. I've gone through the foam puzzle piece mat type flooring. So yeah, I changed it to this jute rug. It's from Target. It's nice and it's high quality because it's very tightly woven. They have dug at a little section of it over here in their favorite area. They tend to like to dig in their favorite area because they're kind of forming a little nest for themselves. It has been great in terms of not being dug or chewed by my rabbits. Again, it probably might not work for everyone's rabbits. They rarely have any accidents on the rug. It's, it usually only happens if their litter box is super full and they don't want to hop into there. But yeah, that's my entire setup. I have a bunch of other things that I'll probably show you guys later in like a full-on kind of house tour, my major setup, but this is my enclosure setup. So yeah, I hope that helps for anyone who's wondering where I got stuff. Again, I get so many questions from you guys asking where I got everything. So yeah, I'll just link everything in the description box below. Cookie, Ash, and Milky, I just want to say thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video. I'll take you away.